This video is brought to you by VAWatchdog.org, the nation's number one independent veterans website, on the web at www.vawatchdog.org. Tonight, the story of two groups of men, once sworn enemies on the battlefield, who have become healthy competitors on the ball field. They are old men now, U.S. and Japanese veterans of World War II. And as ABC's Neil Karlinski reports, their antagonisms this week were put to bed. Let's go! They are veterans of the war in the Pacific, and they've come to Hawaii in the shadow of Pearl Harbor to take on Japanese soldiers they fought to the death as young men. Only this time, Good luck, my friend. they meet on a ball field. Not, not in a million years, I never thought this. Thing. Back in 1943, 81-year-old Larry Willows was a torpedo man aboard an aircraft carrier fighting the Japanese. They were my enemy. They had just, they had just bombed Pearl Harbor. Go on, John, come on. His go, teammate, man, Andy Devine, was at sea as well. Uh, it was four days from my 18th birthday, a kamikaze come and sunk us. None of these men on either side had ever met their old enemies in person until now. And when they did, the reactions surprised even them. Everybody is my friend here, he says. Before they played ball, they made peace, visiting war memorials side by side. From the sunken USS Arizona to veteran cemeteries for both the U.S. and Japanese. It wasn't always easy. I had memories and... I can't. I'm sorry. It just took me too much. But it was a feeling they all shared. Hisasha Hisheda was nearly killed in an attack launched from Larry Willow's ship, but he holds no grudge. I wish this day would have come sooner, he says. Watching this game, you'd never guess all they've been through, and you'd certainly never guess their ages. World War II vets or not, these guys are tough. It's 80 degrees out, the average age on the field is in the mid-80s, and they just got off a 15-hour flight. The competition couldn't have been much more fierce if they were 60 years younger. The Japanese were overwhelmed by a barrage of American hitting power. In the end, it was the United States 14, Japan 2, and one score that can't be measured. Great thing to meet these men. They're a great bunch of guys. Countless old wounds healed. Neil Karlinski, ABC News, Honolulu. And America's oldest surviving veteran of World War I has died. J. Russell Coffey was 109 years old, born September 1st, 1898. He enlisted in the Army while in college in Ohio, one of more than four and a half million Americans who joined the military when the U.S. entered World War I. With the death of J. Russell Coffey, only two American World War I vets are still alive.